One, two, three, propped up. Something cocks it up directly below those two pipes. We can't even spread them to get the acro through them. 20 to 4? Yes. 20 to 4? Nice. It's not like us, is it? I don't know how we ended the last video, but uh, we're back. Back on the steels job. So that's where we got to a week ago today. The reason it's been a week is we've been waiting for the steel. The steel was ready Friday, but they couldn't get it, so it was Friday. And it's one of the pieces too long for us to pick it up. So we um, got in touch with them on Mon uh, Friday, and they're all, it's all ready, so it should be coming today. Customer's currently away, so we left the key for us. And the plan today is get rid of this, take, take a couple of boards up, get a couple of acros and strong boys in there, get these. One, two, three, propped up. I think they're the, uh, I think it's landing on the stairs, like a half landing. Get those propped up. So once they're propped up, we can take this out. Then we can, um, we won't put our pad stone and put the steel in first. Uh, get this out, get ready with the pad stone, prep the wall for the post. Um, there's the hole underneath for the pad stone. So there's a lot of prep preparation today and also get the laser and work out where this, this wall lands and put our, well, take the hole out for the pad stone here. So the messy day today and then tomorrow is going to be putting it all back together, bolting all the steels up and everything. Probably, we'll probably bed the pad stone in today but I want to mark it and drill it because if we bed that and drill it it'll just fall apart. It won't fall apart, it'll fall off. It would have been ideal to bed that last week on Monday. But these things happen, so Alex is just getting the gear in. And I'm going to get all the dust sheets out and cover up again. The good thing is, um, because we're back here tomorrow, we can leave all the tools here tonight. So, let's get the gear in and let's make today count. So, we'll catch you in a bit. Good morning, back again. Don't know what time it is, probably about 40 minutes later. All the gears in, Alex is all masked up. He's, he's stitched drilling down that wall. I'm going to have to go back and get the... Laser level and a multi-tool. Laser level and multi-tool. But we also need some chem, chem fix and... Oh, nine o'clock. Some, um, some uh, you know, the epoxy chem fix and we need a pump and a couple of other bits so I might as well pick them up while I'm away and then this is getting propped up now we've got a it's only um there's no walls above this so we can prop down onto the joists for this one so we've got a bit of old frame piece of 3b2 so that grabs that one that one and that one which uh, those three pass through with that wall and can to move over a little bit so we're going to prop this so that can be taken out then. That echo can come out, that little input can come out. And all the brickwork can come out ready for the steel. Which is definitely arriving today. Come on, I've got the echo mate. And the hole's always miles away from where you need it. Right, get that pin in quick. This one's slightly higher than these two, so, so that's grabbed it. So now, this can all be taken out. I don't know what this thing is. I might just put a couple of screws in that to hold it. But I think it's quite loose. Give it a wobble up. I'm sure that's loose. Piece of the timber. That one. 
Yeah, don't know what it's doing. We'll have to see. We might need to refix that. But, um, it might knacker the plaster up, but obviously there's plenty of plaster to be done here. Here, I don't never mention this. This we're supposed to put a new lintel in this, take the door higher. But as you can see, it's just the void under the stairs. It's all studded out. So um, we don't need to put a lintel in that. That can all be re-studded. Re they can put a wider door in. They can put a higher door in. So um, yeah, there's the actual plasterboard of the downstairs toilet. So that's one less job for us to do. We've traced the line across with the six foot level to here. That's a, that's our wall. So we need to get. A hole out for the steel and a hole out for the pad. A bit squarer than that. So um yeah I can leave the job in Alex's capable hands while I go and get some supplies. Uh, yeah, perfect example of thinking right we'll take that board out and then something cocks it up directly below those two pipes. We can't even spread them to get the acro through them so we're gonna to to come back to the next board now. And it, you should be able to see that tape measure down there somewhere. There's a tape measure in there. <laughs> From about 1980 odd, you know. They're well in. Huh? They're well in, that's not popping off. Crowbar? Yeah. Yeah, I've got it here. Right way up. Two, get a hammer and smack it up. No, you smack it. Put your curly end in. Smack your bit shut. Put your curly end in. Move that spot. Move that other board next to it. Shit in hell. What? Hot. Hot, Hot blade. Yeah. The drill bit got you last time. Try and try and straddle the nail if you can. I need to scrape that flat so we get a, a block down. If you scrape the crap into the hole that we've dug, we'll make two flat surfaces then. Do we not need that hole? That no, that was just to uh, show Danny. Oh. That, so that, do you want to block it, Charlie? Oh, it's not like a bloody church in here now. Okay. Burnwood. There we go. Here's got our acro drops in with our Strong boys, down onto a piece of timber onto the soil. Believe me, that's not going to work. That's wound up tight, so it's compressed the soil. And uh, we've just been listening to some chanter on the radio called, um, what was it? Wazzy the Bricklayer. Wazzy, was he? Is he? Is he? Is that's he? it. That's is he? Uh, yeah, just stayed him on fixed radio. He'll never, he'll never take off. So, anyway, let's 
start taking this wall down. Not really, is he? That one drop. <laughs> Go on, you're knocking. That's it, wobble it out like a tooth. And so, as it begins, let's get your own time lapse. We've been at this for like two minutes, and that's how much is gone. Uh, I wanted to show you this. So yeah, uh, this will be down soon, <laughs> and we can get <coughs> at least one of the steels in position, and then we can. Quick one, zoom in on that. It's upside down, which is UPHO, which is Up Holland, which is the brickworks called the Ravenhead Brickworks, which is near Wigan, and it's still going. These are the Holland Commons, which obviously they don't make anymore, but um, Ravenhead Brickworks at Up Holland still manufacture a lot of the. Um, Ipstock bricks, it's owned by Ipstock, it used to be owned by Steetley, it used to be owned by Redland. Shame down below in the bricks, still building bricks, still manufacturing bricks. Yeah, up Holland. Uh, Ravenhead, it was part of the Ravenhead glass and brick, I think, and it's something to do with uh, the glass works in St. Helens. But anyway, because a lot of the old bricks, they'll have a lot of Raven's head on them as well. A bit of brick history for you there, very interesting. Let's back to small a bit. Since it's coming down so quick. Hey? Since it's coming down so quick, I'll film a bit. Okay. I don't need this for now either.
sorted. I didn't press record for that little bit there. So I'm going to grab this tub out because it's quite full. back and you look the post slots into that corner but uh, it's all yeah it's all drilled but it, so they need snapping off that way as well and then the post sits in the corner yeah because of these ones and then alternate fixings go that way and that way it's going nowhere that's what the little thunderbolts are for right down because we've got our pads down there this is the wall we're leaving this in because it's got the pipe sat on there and this where it returns here has got this this joist sat on it so that's as far as down as we go um obviously this floor is going to have to be redone it's going to have to have longer pieces that stretch from joist to joist so we'll just patch back as best we can um this is um this needs chopping back to the where else is stitch drilled it and that way our post sits against that brickwork and against that brickwork so basically the post sits in that corner there and then it's going to sit with the steel on the top which goes across there to a hole in the wall where there'll be a pad stone so i've got the lasers for sorting all out and there's that's what's there that's what's left we might just have to chop that chop that off with the sawzall because it might be the way the steel going through but, um, yeah Basically we're going to get a load more mess done today, get ourselves set up and then we've got a whole day to get the steels installed tomorrow. Get it all fine tuned, so we want to get all the messing about, all the cutting out done today. So um, while Alex is doing this, probably better with a mechanical device for that. Yeah. I'll go over there and get that set out, knock out for that pad. And then there's a pad to go in this corner too. The rough, our steel's roughly coming to, to the picture rail when it goes back in. From here, all you're gonna see is the steel goes across there, and then the new steel across there, and then we're gonna build up and then pack off the brickwork, off the steel, because this steel's small. As you can see, it's a little bit small, that one. But they're all manageable, aren't they? Well, they are manageable, because he carried those two big ones around on his own. Oh, it's, it's, it was barely manageable. Mm. I was, uh, I looked like a struggling deadlift in moving that, <laughs> that main steel. The post wasn't too bad though. No, it wasn't. The post was not bad. Could have been more. I thought it was going to be a lot. I thought it was going to be like the reinforced steel we did with the Robbies. Yeah. That box section steel. Remember? That was awesome. I thought it was going to be that. So there you go. Propping's done. But it walls down. Now it's all the, the finer bits now. I think. I think we're going to have to pull that back a bit, you know. Hmm? You know the stitch drilling? Yeah. I think it's going to have to go further back. We, we've measured the plaster, haven't we? So the post is going to come in flush, flush with the plaster. Well, it's not going to be too bad a deal. Just knock, and knock the halves back. Just chop the halves off then. Well, yeah, that's right, isn't it? That's how it'll work. 
Yeah, that'll do, yeah. It's just stitch drilling them then, isn't it? Even then, just get the, uh, the chisel bit and they'll probably snap, just snap them off. Yeah, yeah. cool, we have a can. I don't know if that laser line. I've set it up then and it was locked. So it went, it went out about six inches across that wall, didn't it? Yeah. I thought the houses were all around for a second. So that picture is nice and level if they need to pick that up on the camera. Bang on that. So um, yeah, there's our laser, there's our laser line. Alex has measured down from the actually Alex, that's about right because we need a bed. Yeah. So that laser line has actually worked out bang on for the bottom of our steel. So when that's transferred across to here, that's the bottom of the steel here. And as you can see, this steel really isn't taking much at all. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, yeah, four bricks. So, four bricks and then this steel, which is taking like three joists, which is just a landing. There's no, that's the four bricks above. So we're well, we're well engineered here. So the only difficult bit is going to be getting this post spot on. So that's why we've allowed ourselves extra time for that. There you go. That's that's how we set up. And that's how we're going to do it. So Alex on this side, me on this side, with um one one drill between us. Hmm? One drill between us. There we go. That's a pain in the ass, all enclosures falling out. But as I always say, we've just got to roll with the punches and fix it when it's fixed. The, um, so now you can see where the post slots in. Right in there. So our, our post goes in here, down to the plate, which goes into the pad stone, and then our steel bolts onto the top of it, two bolts. Oh shit, ow. We didn't knock out for the pad stone. Oh. I'll, do, I'll do that now. So um, I'll do it with a hammer and chisel. So that one bolts onto there and onto the pad stone there. See the angle on it there. And I'll to myself, pardon for my French, because I've done all the measurements on the angle finding. So um, I'll be relieved if it works. I won't be surprised if it doesn't. <laughs> There's confidence for you. We might have a bit of, bit of um, material for the interview tomorrow. Huh. Asking about cock ups. Anyway. Well, we were talking to that Isaac fella, aren't we? Yeah, that. Uh, what, was he the bricky? Something like that. Yeah. Yeah, so um, let's tidy up and go home. It's definitely looking a lot better now. Just that tiny bit of wall in the door going. Open it right up. I know the customers are going to be made up with that. The, um, they were planning on putting an extension where Alex stuck it through there and opening it up that way but for the cost of that it just wasn't worth it and it would have been a massive steel going across there as well I don't know how we'd have got that in but um, this worked out for the best it's going to be nice it's a nice big room as it is and now it flows through into the nice long kitchen Shane didn't want us to uh, brick up brick up to like a point and just have Square. Yeah, it takes that takes it off though, doesn't it? You'd be taking, you'd be putting a wall in the way, kind of thing. Mm. Whereas now it open, you, wherever you stand, it, it goes right back. Yeah. The steel's doing all the work.
Well, that's going to balls me up trying to download that. That was a long clip, should have been time lapsing. It will be speed up though. So, just to recap, those two going through the floor onto nice um, timber onto the soil, rammed up tight, are holding a bit of a wall up. These two are just holding those joists up, and this one's just holding one up, which is cantilevers out from there. So, this, this is propped up because we've I've knocked out for this pad stone. That pad stone is not that well. That post is ready, apart from the bottom bit. Just chop the bottom bit out down to the foundation. Uh, that's it. So we're done now. I hope it sleeps. 20 to 4. Yes. 20 to 4? Nice. It's not like us, is it? Yeah, that's as far as we can go now. I mean, we can maybe get the steels in so they're dry. And then. We're going to um, sort the other bits out we need to do. So tomorrow, oh, what, that's not half wonky for looking at me, looking at old Nathan substantial up. What the yeah, <laughs> So yeah, we're all propped up. Not that one, the other one. Oh, this one? No, the other one, that one. That really wonky one. Oh. So yeah, we shall catch you in the morning, which should be Tuesday the 22nd. Oh yeah, the one last one, the 23rd. We're not available because we're going to do our little bit on the side that is um, Attractions Magazine. So we're, we're off to Blackpool for the Big Dipper's 100th birthday. So they've chucked us in a couple of free tickets, so we're going to spend the day up there. And then the party seven till nine. So we'll see you tomorrow for our last day before our day out. <laughs>